Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasis and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. In today's lecture, we will discuss the conditional probability density function that is conditional PDF. We will also discuss its properties and basics. In the last lectures, we have already discussed what we mean by random variables, probability density function, PDF, cumulative distribution function that is CDF and also joint cumulative function joint CDF and joint PDF that is joint probability density function. So let's start our lecture with the conditional probability density functions basics. A probability density function is known as conditional PDF. When one random variable out of two random variables has a fixed value. If we have two random variables, suppose we have two random variables x and y and out of these two random variables one random variable is having a fixed value. Suppose uh, these uh, out of these uh, x and y random variables, uh, we have a random variable x that has a fixed value which is equals to x. And we want to find the conditional probability for the ra other random variable y. This is known as conditional uh, probability density function because there is a condition here that uh, another random variable is fixed having certain value. Here it is x small x. So in this case, uh, this is the formula to find the conditional PDF of y. This is the conditional probability density function for y. We know that uh, this small f denotes the probability density function and capital F denotes the cumulative distribution function. So all these are probability density functions. Here uh, you know that uh, this, this is the notation for this conditional PDF of y that is a small f denotes the PDF and capital Y means the it is the random variable it is for random variable Y and conditional PDF for Y means here we want to find this is Y divided by X Y by X is the notation means uh, we are going to find the conditional PDF for Y and here X is fixed X another random variable is having value fixed so it is in denominator so Y by X and what is this? This f of x, y, this is the PDF. This is a joint probability density function of both x and y uh, random variables. Okay, joint PDF. And what is this? fx, here we take uh, the joint PDF in the numerator and in the denominator we take uh, another, uh, uh, the PDF of another random variable that is x which is fixed. Okay, so just uh, this is just the formula you should understand. Uh, you should keep it in mind and what is fx here here the fx in uh, denominator is the marginal density of x what is marginal uh, pdf marginal density when uh, the probability density functions like uh, fx or fy for any single random variable are obtained from the joint probability density function that is they are obtained from the joint pdf in that case these fx or fy are known as the marginal pdf or marginal density so here it is marginal pdf marginal density or marginal probability density function of x and this is the joint pdf so in the same way we can uh, find the conditional probability density function for uh, another random variable so in the same way you see here that here we have a fixed value for uh, y okay another random variable y is fixed and we want to find the probability density function of x so this is the notation same as the previous case that is f of x x means this the another which is in denominator divided by y is the fixed value and here we keep in denominator we keep the another uh, random variable the probability density function of another random variable that is the uh, marginal density of uh, y in the denominator okay so it is uh, as it is obtained from the joint pdf and here is the joint pdf okay as in the previous case so just keep this in mind how we write uh, what we write in numerator and what we write in denominator since this is the fixed value the another random variable which is fixed so y equals to y we take it in denominator this is in denominator you see it is in denominator and here also in this notation we take it in denominator in the y and this is the conditional pdf of x the same thing this is the marginal density of uh, y okay now we will see the properties of a conditional PDF. 
so let's see the first property property number one the conditional probability density function that is this one this one uh, this is for x and also for y so the conditional probability density function is a non-negative function why it is a non-negative function so mathematically we can write it as this is this this one is greater than zero and also the uh, the conditional probability density function for y is also greater than or equals to zero it is non-negative but the reason is because we know that uh, a conditional probability density function is a ratio of two probability density functions you see here if we see for this uh, this case then this is probability density function okay it is joint pdf and this is also probability density function both of these are pdfs and we know that uh, pdf is a non negative function so the ratio of two non negative functions uh, is also non negative let's now see the another property the property number two it is the area under the conditional probability density function is unity it is simple uh, statement that uh, the area which is covered by this uh, probability density function the area under pdf is unity unity means one so to find the area what we do to find the complete area under this curve just integrate it from minus infinity to infinity okay this is for x it is the conditional pdf for x so differentiate integrate it with respect to x okay integrate from minus infinity to infinity and in the same way the conditional pdf for y we integrate it from minus infinity to infinity with respect to y so it is just integration is nothing but simply the area under the curve area under the conditional pdf okay so it is unity whether it's one now we will discuss the property number three of conditional pdf it states that the conditional pdf reduces to marginal density if random variables x and y are statistically independent if these two random variables x and y are statistically independent then it will reduce to marginal density let's see how so we can say that this conditional probability for y is it will become simply f of f y so we can write it mathematically as this conditional probability of y will be simply equal to this marginal density you see here okay since this these uh, random variables x and y are statistically independent in the same way this conditional probability uh, density function that is conditional probability for x uh, reduces to simple the marginal density of x okay marginal pdf so how it uh, how it can be proved it is easy to prove uh, let's see we know that this uh, conditional pdf for x is defined as uh, this uh, joint pdf of x and y and this uh, marginal density uh, for uh, y okay so this is the formula and we also know that uh, for statistically independent variables x and y we understand that th we know that this joint pdf can be written as the product of these two pdfs this fxy this uh, joint pdf of two variables random variables x and y can be written as the product of these two probability density functions fx and fy so if we replace uh, this uh, joint pdf in the formula of conditional pdf for x and y by this then what will happen we know that uh, by this condition and also we know that the conditional pdf for x is given by this formula okay this is the formula for conditional pdf for x and if we replace this fxy this joint pdf in the denominator in the numerator by this fx into fy then you see here that uh, it will convert to it will cancel out this is fx into fy divided by this fy and uh, fy cancels out and we have this uh, conditional pdf reduces to the simple pdf that is this uh, marginal density marginal pdf of x fx okay in the same way we can uh, uh, prove this that this conditional pdf for y will be equals to fy this marginal density of y so i think you understood all these uh, concepts in the next uh, lectures we will uh, keep on adding uh, more videos related to random variables and probability distribution so keep watching and uh, 
you can like and share the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more videos thanks for watching bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye